People in Galveston County are piling onto a brand new lawsuit tonight, suing the state over voting rights. The Mexican American Legal Defense and Educational Fund filed this lawsuit today against Governor Greg Abbott, the Texas Secretary of State, and the Texas Attorney General. It's claiming that people flagged as potentially fraudulent voters were actual citizens. David Gonzalez is breaking it down for us tonight. Hey, David. Hey, Ron, yeah, at least one person in Galveston County thinks that their right to vote has been violated along with many others. Now a group is suing some Texas officials because they say that they targeted naturalized citizens to get their names off of voter rolls. Valdeff is suing several Texas officials on behalf of naturalized citizens who are registered to vote and several voter registration groups. So there is close to 100,000 people who are potentially affected by this purge effort by the Secretary of State. Earlier this year, the Secretary of State's office flagged several thousand voters questioning their citizenship, saying they needed to show proof before being allowed to vote again. So making sure that only people who are qualified to vote in the state of Texas make sure that everybody who's eligible can have their voice heard, and it's not gonna get canceled out by someone who's not a U.S. citizen who managed to slip through the cracks and register to vote here. Maldef says the list violates the 14th Amendment because it targets naturalized voters who got a driver's license when they still had a green card. The problem is if you try to use those records to launch a voter purge, you're going to capture all of these naturalized citizens who very properly and proudly became citizens of the United States and registered to vote. In Galveston County, at least one voter received this letter from the tax assessor and collector, Cheryl E. Johnson. As soon as she got the purge list, she started sending letters out to legitimate voters who were then obviously extremely concerned and surprised to get a letter saying that uh, their eligibility to vote was being questioned. And right now, we only know of Galveston County to actually send out letters to voters and citizens letting them know that their voting registration might be questioned. Also right now, Maldiff is asking the Secretary of State to publicly admit that there was an error with this list. Ron? All right. Thank you so much, David Gonzalez, tonight.